Thank you. Number 35, please. <clears throat> My name is Richard Mack, and uh, I'm a retired law enforcement officer and sheriff from uh, Arizona. My expertise in that field was uh, juvenile delinquency, school violence, and narcotics investigations. My first experience with SRIs was when I was a parent of a second grader. My wife and I were called into the school, and uh, our son had a problem staying in his chair. What was the government school's answer? Drug your son into submission so he'll stay in his chair. We refused. And uh, we thank God now that we did. Our son turned out just fine, played basketball, baseball, and excelled at school and sports. As sheriff of a, uh, a small community in Arizona, we had an uh, abnormal amount of high rate of suicide and teen violence. I am just an investigator. I just present the facts. One thing that we could not ignore was the circumstantial evidence that the common denominator in all of these cases was the victims or perpetrators were on SSRIs. In investigating these events, it became uh, quite commonplace for all of us to ask the same question as we got to the next event of horrified and traumatized people and families. You've heard from many of them today. Some people don't have the adverse effects uh, reaction to these drugs. Some do. I learned the same with LSD when I investigated that as, as an undercover narcotics officer. I can only say that the evidence is uh, mounting over and over, as did our investigations. We cannot, as law enforcement officials, ignore such circumstantial evidence. I doubt very seriously if you could either. I'm an adv advocate for states' rights, and I do not believe that if the FD I do believe that if the FDA fails to take action, that state and local authorities will have to. Thank you. Thank you.